up guys going on your boy Ryan Rybees how's everybody doing um, today we are doing something real simple we're gonna burn a screen today a lot of you guys were asking about my um, template here just a brief overview this is my um, well the template I bought this uh, template here I'll get this on eBay uh, this particular one is like a poster type so the backing of it is um, is has a sticky back. I guess you peel it off. And what I did was I bought two of these plexiglass. So what I did is I took um, the poster off and uh, stuck it onto the the plexiglass. And then I put an I bought another plexiglass. I put it right on top. If you can see here a little bit, you see that that's um, just double stick tape or clear ones at, at least. I just put it on there. And Home Depot went to Home Depot, got these yard sticks, which is a mess. But I double stick that on here. Also, it will just gives me a guideline. So when I grab the screen, I don't have to worry about um, moving it around. And I know that it's consistent to where the um, uh, what do you call this? Where the transparency is gonna sit, and where my design is gonna sit. I don't have to worry about it being off by this much, or this way, or this way. I know if I get to the edge, put it down, it fits, and it's ready to go. So that's a brief overview of my uh, pre-registration template um, you know I probably would, should have it on a wall but I like it like this I can keep it modular I can put it on any table or on the floor if you guys know I've done that before and so I have these markings here um, just make sure that um, wherever you're gonna place your design on the um, on the screen itself is try to keep it consistent like right now I like to have my registration mark usually here in this mark right here and from here it's about an inch so usually it, it, it lines up around here and which means it correlates to my my palette here on the um, on the what do you call this on the press I know that my design the top of the design will be right about in this mark here so just take time and uh, do your measurements and figure out your setup and where your design is going to be um, landing on it helps a lot and in the long run it will be faster right especially when you're doing multiple colors well anyways that's a little gist of that that guy right there uh, let's go ahead and burn a screen um, we have two actually we have two designs here we have this one's the front chest and this one's like a left chest but higher so the left chest is going to be like right about here instead of it you know being down here so it's a little bit higher um and the uh the front chest is a little bit lower so it's going to be right here it's going to be for a soccer uniform um so that as far as the placement goes that's already approved and that's what they wanted uh so we're gonna have two prints two designs on the print this is going to be actually one color which is white and this is going to be black so we're gonna burn burn them burn them burn them burn them yeah so we're gonna burn them on one screen you know my, my thing is I try to utilize the screen as much as I can if I could put another design on the other side I'll do it so in this case that's what we're gonna do all right let's go ahead and do it all right since uh, it's dark outside it's nighttime I can keep my garage on so we can have some air in here and just turn the safety lights on not to worry about the screen being um, overexposed or by the sun or whatever so uh, we're gonna actually burn them on a let's see we're gonna burn them on a 160 mesh um, that's the only one I have either that or 180 these are going on a hundred percent polyester so we're gonna have to use a um, well, we're gonna be using the, the fusion 180 inks so if you guys didn't know the fusion 180 inks are has a lower temp and um, I think the temps like 280 or something like that but um, it's going on a 100% polyester. So that's why we're using the Fusion 180. This is a brand new um, 
set of screens all coated. This from NorCal Screen Print Supply, as you guys can see there. I think, if I can remember, I ordered um, three 180s and three 160s. Um, the reason for that is I got this whole um, rack that I gotta reclaim and all that I gotta reclaim. I just haven't had the time to reclaim it and projects were just coming in and okay you know what it might just be best to close the garage I'm gonna do it yeah big shout out to NorCal they're always they're always on time as far as their shipping so if you guys um, buy pre-coated screens from them it usually comes in a bag like this and this is actually how I store my um, my pre-coated, you know, my screens when I coat them. I put them back in the box, covered up with uh, heavy-duty black garbage cans or garbage bags, and I store them. And usually, if I store them this way, it'll last at least a good six months, maybe even over a year. I think I've I've held on to a couple of screens that's over a year and it still works. So. I'm not sure. I think this is not. This is definitely not a VPR um, emulsion because it's it's a little bluish. Uh, usually VPR is a purplish color. All right, so we're gonna start off with the, uh, the chest, the left chest print. Once again, put it in our template here. All right, flip it over. And some of you guys were wondering what, what this is. This is just regular foam. It's just high density foam. Um, you can get at you know, your fabric store, I guess, like Joann's or Michael's. I cut it so it'll fit the inside. If you guys are wondering, I got it set for um, 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Alright, so when that's okay, so when that's done, take your transparencies off. Um, I like to use a little bit of water just to help um, with the exposing process. You can kind of see the design coming through already. So with this, I like to let it sit for about 30 to 45 seconds well, so I can um, get my wash out booth ready and then uh, come back, spray one more time and bring it out and wash it out. You guys are wondering, my wash out booth is outside. It's on the side of the house here. Uh, got the hose. Yeah, we're ready to go. While that thing is drying, I like to put all my transparencies in these little staple bags. I like to put the name of the uh, of the job or the company. You can always get um, these 14 by 18. Yeah, these are the 14 by 18 envelopes. Same thing, but since I go to Staples and get these things printed out, they give this for free just because you know they don't want to damage your items, and I usually have just a tub full of the um, transparency just put them there so if I ever have to go back to it and refer I can just look for the name it'll be good all right usually I like to whoa. all right usually I put my um, my screens out in the Sun to dry and to expose a little bit since there's no Sun out um, I put it under the uh, exposure ring again just let it it for you know a couple of minutes. Another thing I was worried about is she is looking at that bird. See the eye on the bird? I was kind of skeptic that it wasn't gonna gonna be there once I burn it um, since we're using a 160. Again if you go to a lower mesh 
maybe like a 110 it might not show up those are the little details that um, you guys gotta look for as far as burning screens um, if you have like fine detail like like an eye or maybe like a little dot it probably won't show up because because the mesh that you're using so you probably want to up your mesh to a 180 or even a 200 but since the eye is still there for the bird we're good to go yeah don't burn this on a 110 because that is not going to show or you'll probably just wash it out so like I said since we have no sun today and I usually put it under the sun to expose and to dry let's just turn this thing on real quick and let it sit there for a couple minutes so I'll feel better but tomorrow we'll, we'll take it out to the sun for another minute or so and um, we'll be good to go after that uh, show you guys what's been going on in the um, screen printing studio uh, rearranged a couple of things uh, I'm still a mess here but I think I got the general idea of where things are going to go mess but yeah a lot more room now a lot more room to get around over here I just had to free up um, some shelving and cabinets and all that stuff I want to put shelves up there above the um, conveyor which I think I'm going to do hopefully in the next week or so put some more um, stuff up there but yep that is a laundry list of screens that needs to be reclaimed there's gotta be at least I don't know 50 maybe anyways guys that's it um, just some real quick once again if you have um, a screen that you need to burn and if you're able to put more than one design on it I highly suggest it try not to waste your screens especially your coating emulsion on it you know you don't want to do it more than once might as well use it right utilize it the only thing I do is tape up the side that you're not using and then you're good to go so um, be smart and um, utilize what you have all right well that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video just burning screens all right see you guys in the next one peace out